Hi everyone, hope you're all well. Um, in this video I'm going to talk about Wix, what is it, why you should use it and how to kind of get started. Wix is a very user-friendly website building platform that has a lot of built-in features to kind of give users the freedom to design professional websites um, easily and that look great on any device. It's built for people who aren't professional developers or don't have a lot of coding experience as everything is already coded for you. You just need to select which design, which layout you like and then add in your own content. So first things first, you want to go to the Wix sign up page and just type in your email, um, type your email in twice, password, and then just click sign up to start your account. To create a Wix account is completely free, so at this point you don't need any payment or anything. And then once you're logged in, you'll see your dashboard and any sites that you might have created beforehand um, will show up here. Um, but if this is your first time building a site, then this will probably be blank. To get started creating a site, all you want to do is click create a new site. And what's going to happen then, it'll take you step by step um, into deciding, okay, what kind of site do you want to build, what features you want to add, and things like that. So what kind of website are you creating? You can choose between things like online store, portfolio, if it's an event booking um, website, um, you can also choose that. So there's event management, event planner, things like that. So you would just type in what your business type is and just select which one is closest. The purpose of this is just to kind of see what kind of features you might already want. Um, and then whenever they populate your site, they'll use sort of placeholder content. So they'll use images relating to whatever, what kind of website you're creating. And then you want to select the name of your website, whatever that is. And now there's going to talk about the types of features that you want to add. So um, they've got a, an event platform. So uh, the event platform will let you sort of create events, sell tickets, um, track whoever's booked to go to an event, things like that. So that's uh, included based on the website that we chose. You have the option then of a chat function. So when someone logs onto your website, they have the option of opening sort of like a chat bubble. If there's any questions, then um, anyone online on the back end of the site can answer that. Then in terms of other um, features you can add, you can add things like an online store, um, you can add forms, any contact forms, um, any subscribe forms, um, that might be useful so we'll click on that. Um, you can take bookings, so this is different to events, so events is more you can create sort of different like away days, you can create uh, experiences and different kind of events and then bookings is more of a a appointment type thing so if there's different appointments that people want to book for you they can do that and they'll be able to select the date and time that choose them um, you can also add blogs so blogs are a really good way to kind of drive traffic um, onto your website um, and to kind of keep your website constantly updated with new content new updates things like that so you can add that as well um, and just kind of go through and see which kind of features you think would be suitable. Um, specifically for this example, I'm just going to use the events. Um, I'll take out the chat, blog, and then some forms. And then once you're done, you just want to click next. Um, but this isn't uh, permanent, so if you decide you wanted to add something, but later you decide, oh, I don't need, I don't need that uh, functionality, you can take it out. If there's functionality there that you think you might not need, you can add it in later. So we didn't add the online store, for example, but if you wanted to add a store later on, we still have that um, option there. So start setting up your website. Um, so with Wix, you have two options. You can start with a template, so they'll show you different sort of different templates, and Wix will then, and then you can just go in and change the content, or Wix will create a site for you within a few minutes um, based on what you've already selected so far and they'll ask you for design and things like that. With both options it's not um, set in stone so if the, you see a design that they give you and you don't like the colors, you don't like the font used, all of that can be changed, all of the content can be changed. It's just more how much um, time do you want to spend building in the beginning. So we'll click this one for now, get a custom built site. And you can see there's a bunch of different templates that you can go through and you can just sort of view them if you wanted to. For example, this one, if you click view, um, 
this is essentially what's what it's going to look like, how people can navigate through it. Um, and again, so this template is just there, so you're not starting off with a completely blank slate. You can go in, change all the content. If you want to change the font styling, the colors that they use, that's all editable. Um, or you can just go back, see which one you like, you prefer. So yeah, it's very um, user friendly. It's very much select what you like and then just change the content. Um, for this example, I think we'll just go for something like this, just to keep it simple. And we'll just click edit. And once you hit edit, the site will then load with all of the pages and all of the content. So you can see on the left all of the uh, different options you have. So you can add things like elements, add different sections, change the site design, things like that. Um, when you first load these, the site, there's a few things that you might want to get rid of. So all of the page code and all of the ADI things at the bottom, they're not needed um, if you're using the template. So all you need to do is just click the minimize button for this one and then just click on the page code. Um, and that kind of tidies that section up. Um, but essentially you can see that the site's been loaded and you can sort of scroll through and see what it looks like and from there then you can decide if you want to change any of the font sty styling um, and things like that. Um, to preview your site, what you want to do is just click on preview and that'll open up your site without all of the edit mode uh, options and then you can just kind of go through the site as a user. Um, again so you can see okay this is how I scroll there's um, content here and yeah just kind of go through the site as a user see what needs see what's missing see what you want to change um, and things like that so that's the basics that's sort of how you would get started with a template how to get started within a client and later on we'll go over sort of how to change make changes in terms of the content how to add new sections how to change the uh, brand palette basically, change the colors and fonts if needed.